Hi there, this is Phil Binks from Bodoni, North America. I'm going to go through the process for adding an additional PressSign client to your existing PressSign server. This will also slightly cover if you've got a brand new server that you want to add into the system. So right now we are looking at the PressSign.com login page. So you've already logged in, created an account and your name would appear just up here where my name appears there. If I click on my name, you can click on the activation codes and it will bring up this window that we see right now. I have an existing PressSign software installation. And within that software installation, you can see that I have an internet activation and I've got four, I've actually hidden three of them. But across the top of this line here, you'll see the dongle number, the computer name and the IP address of the server computer, your username and the time that the PressSign licensing server was last accessed. Typically, this would be the last time that you ran PressSign. Below that, we will see the PressSign client so here I've got a PressSign Pro client. What you might see is a PressSign Trends client, a standard client, or a digital client. Any of those is possible, all on the same PressSign server. Next to that, you'll see your activation code. So the activation code is always related to a particular style of client. Then you'll see here the number of licenses that you have with that activation code. So this does purport to the ability of PressSign to have multiple clients running on the same activation code. And it's typically the way we like to do that. So if you have three or four PressSign Pro clients, for instance, you'll see this number of licenses saying three or four, for example. And then you see here the expiry date of the subscription version of the software. So you always know when you need to renew by or if there is an uh, expiry date about to arrive, you will need to make sure that you renew your subscription for the software. Now, if you have a brand new PressSign installation and let's say you might have a USB dongle version, here you would click on the new button and that will bring up the new screen for if you have a hardware dongle version of the software. If you've already got a hardware dongle version of the software, you will see a list of the existing codes below in this area, very similar to what we see just here. So if we want to create a new USB dongle version of PressSign, we would click on the new button. And what you see is the window for the new version of PressSign. So it will ask you for your product code that you've been sent. It will ask you for your PressSign dongle ID and that is on the dongle itself. There's a label on the dongle. You will need to enter the number there. And if you want to make a comment, typically people don't, but you might want to just add the business name for instance and then of course you'll simply click on the submit button that will then generate a press sign activation code or codes for you which you will then get sent in the email or they'll actually appear on the screen on the next window if you are running an internet version of the software so your licensing is done over the internet you do not have a hardware dongle and you are starting a brand new server so you don't already have existing clients then you would click on this new button here and that will generate just a slightly different result for you so let me just show that i'll just click on the button here now And that will show you the product code would be entered here. Again, you can make a comment if you want to. Click on the submit 
and once more press sign will generate your activation codes for you from this page so that's what you'll see for an internet server basically what we're missing is the dongle id you don't need to know the dongle id so back once more to the main screen and if you have an existing press sign version and you then need to add a new client it doesn't matter whether it's a pro client a new trends standard or digital client you'll be clicking this add button just here when you click this add button and i'll just do that for us you'll see this window come up this internet server id will be the existing dongle number which you may or may not have ever known but you'll enter your product code that you have here remember this is to add an additional client so your server id will be shown here this is not something you enter it's already shown to you you'll enter your product code if you want to make a comment there again you can but clicking submit will then generate either a new activation code if you do not have an existing client of the same style but if you have an existing client of the same style so let's say you have a press sign pro client already then it will simply create an additional client using the same original activation code and more importantly let me go back to the original window the codes will be added to your existing server so they will be shown in this window here below this particular version you might want to have additional press sign clients on a separate server now this is very rare that would mean that you don't want to see the results from different activation codes all on the same server this is very unusual uh, but you would then be able to click on the new button that would create a new server but that will also mean that your activation code would be very different and you then can't connect the two activation codes to the same server so be very careful 99 percent of the time if you have an existing press sign service and you want to add a new client you will be clicking on this add button not the new button click on add instead and that will mean that all of the results that you have from any of the clients that you're measuring data with will all be available within the same single server that you're running so i hope you found this useful if you want to know more about press sign please feel free to contact me and make sure you subscribe to this if you are a regular press sign user have a look at the youtube channel for other guidance videos relating to using press sign and thanks for listening i'll see you soon